Hi guys, so welcome back to my video. Today I am going to be trying to use all the makeup brushes I own to try and create this look right here for you. So if you want to know how I did, then please carry on watching. I don't think I've seen anybody do this um, before and I tried filming this on Wednesday and when it came to editing it the other day, it looked awful. So I'm going to redo it. Um, so hopefully we'll get that sorted. But today I am doing the... I don't know how you'd word it. Trying to use as many makeup brushes as I can in one look. Tag challenge. Anyway, I used to have just a normal set of brushes, which was like Real Techniques and a few Zoeva. But I have just recently got some Morphe brushes, and so I gave all my old brushes to my sister. I'm going to be trying to use these brushes today. Um, these are the Morphe and James Charles collection of brushes um, as you can see some of them are being used so you can kind of guess what the colours are that we'll be using today. I'm going to try and um, create a look using as many brushes as I can out of here. There is quite a lot of brushes in here. may not look like a lot but when you get the package there is loads um so yeah i definitely recommend this on the website these retail for 152 pounds um whereas if you bought them all separately it would be um a value of 252 pounds so you are saving 100 pounds by getting them in this bundle you do also get the morphe sponge with it um but obviously when you use code james for 10 percent off you get it for around 136 ish pounds i think i spent up to 140 on them because i got um one to two day shipping and um, but i definitely recommend this if you are starting out they are a good set of brushes you have loads of brushes you've got loads of eye brushes you've got loads of foundation and face brushes so i definitely recommend that you try these out for sure like i said i've already done my eyebrows um so the first brush i'm going to be using is the morphe 410 brush and i'm going to be carving out my eyebrows with the makeup revolution conceal and define in the color c1 Okay, so this looks really crazy at the moment, but we've got our base done. So now we're going to start with eyeshadows. So again, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe and James Charles palette. Four bright colours. This is like a staple in my collection. Um, I'm always, always using it. So it's definitely worth the money. Um, so today we're going to be going in with the pink and the blues and a little bit of purple so we're going to try and make a really nice colour and maybe some orange as well so we're first of all going to be starting with the pink so I'm going to be taking on an M456 brush just the colour Skip which is down in the bottom corner here it's such a nice vibrant pink um, and it does blend out really well so I'm just going to get that on the flat side top off any excess and I'm just going to start patting it down into circular shape on the eye now obviously you can build up the colour here so don't be too scared if it's quite faded at the moment but and then I'm going to be taking an M441 brush and just going to blend out just really lightly the edges in this set you get about three or two or three of the same brushes and um, so for the m456 brushes you get three of them and i believe for the m441 brushes you also get three of them as well so it's really good for this look today we're going to be taking the colors playground and cola and mixing them together get a bit more of playground than you do colour just because obviously you want it nice and bright and then you're just going to stamp that really gently underneath the pink and 
Okay, and then I'm gonna take an M433 brush and just lightly blend the blue in with the pink. This is gonna create a bit more purple um, in the socket. I just blend really carefully, really softly, because you don't want it to mix too much into the pink and take over the whole eye. And I'm just gonna go back in with the pink, just stomp a bit more color over the top. Okay, and then we're gonna take another M441 brush, and this time I'm gonna be taking the color 518 so it's this nice bright orange color and i'm just going to apply that above really lightly like barely touching the skin and the color and just blend that over the top this is going to give a nice transition shape between the pink and the orange and make it just a little bit darker and deepen it up a bit and just make it almost look like a sunset which is kind of the vibe i'm kind of going for because it's just really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take a kind of clean um, M443 brush and I'm just going to lightly blend. What I have noticed since using these brushes though is that they blend out any color so well and they're just amazing. I love these brushes. Okay, so next we're gonna take a, another M433 brush. So we're gonna be taking the color Escape just on this brush, tap off any excess, and you're just gonna put this in the outer third here, just really lightly. So I'm hardly applying any pressure on, just lightly getting that color onto the lid. And then take another M441 brush and just blend that out. Okay, so now we're gonna go and cut the crease. So I'm gonna take the M124 brush and again, just the leftover concealer that's on my hand. And I'm just gonna start to apply this to the lid. And what this is kind of going to do is it's going to take the blue and the purple and kind of like make an ombre effect of the concealer which will look really cool. As you can see it's kind of created like a white bluey ombre effect. It's going to get the brush that we used to blend out the blue and just lightly blend it in so there's no harsh lines with the cut crease even though that's kind of the look you're going for. But it's just so we have some form of definition there and it's not taking away the colour. And then again just bring the purple in a bit just so it fades through. So now I'm going to take a clean M124 brush. I'm going to take a little bit of ring light and mix it with a little bit of hello just to get the nice blue undertone of the shadow and just start to lightly pat that on the lid where you just cut the crease. Oh! Ah! <laughs> There's a spider on my bed and it's huge! That just made me feel sick, that was fucking huge! Oh my god, I feel so itchy. Right, we have moved locations now. Location here is Jess's room because I saw that spider and it's definitely in my bed. There's no way I'm sleeping in that tonight because that is just disgusting. Oh my god, I feel so gross. Yeah. However, I've added hello, a bit more hello onto the eyelid. I added the colour spooky on an M166 brush. Um, so now we're going to be applying false eyelashes so again i'm going to be applying my tatty lashes so i'm just going to put some glue on so i'm just going to take it on my little tool i raved about this in a couple videos primark one pound easy to stick your eyelashes on it's amazing there you go the lashes on it completes the look I feel amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've done the other eye. Um, put my eyelashes on. If they look a bit crazy, I don't know what's going on with them. 
But now I'm going to be taking the Morphe M158 brush and my ABH Dip Brow in Dark Brown and just going over my brows to make them more defined. So now we're going to go in with foundation. I'm going to spray myself a bit of uh, Fix Plus from MAC. Just to... It smells like lavender. And the foundation I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour um, foundation fresh wear in the colour 260. So for concealer we're going to be going back in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the colour again C1. Now this is going to be really light so I'm not even going to put that much on. Okay so the brush I'm going to be using for this is the M173 brush and I'm just going to lightly drag it down and buff it in. Now I'm going to try, um, so I'm going to try and do a bit of contour. I'm going to be taking the ABH stick, uh, contour stick in the colour Mink. And for that I'm going to be taking the Morphe 224 brush and I'm just going to try and contour my face. gonna take a bit of Fix Plus on my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend hopefully that out. Leave it at that because your girl does not know how to contour but she thought Let's get a contour stick and try. I'm going to take a little bit back on the brush and try and contour my nose. Now this is where it can all go terribly, terribly wrong. Okay, so to blend out the nose contour, I'm going to take an E62 brush and just blend it in now it probably looks awful but not even highlighted yet how is that already highlighted oh look I've got off the nose maybe when I've got highlighter on okay so now we're gonna go in and powder the face so I'm gonna take my Rimmel London match perfection powder in the colour transparent and then I'm going to take my Morphe E48 brush and just apply this onto less skin. I don't want to make it too matte, I still want the kind of dewy look to the skin.
And then take the angled side of the beauty blender, dip it in the powder. And from here, drag it down. And then again, just on the sides of the nose and hopefully you can get a kind of contour going. I'm just praying this works because nose contour for me never ever works. And then one side's always bigger than the other and we're just going to let that sit. I probably look hella crazy. Right now, I'm gonna do some bronzer. So I'm gonna be taking the MUA Matte Bronzing Powder in the color 100, you've seen me use this before loads of times. And I'm gonna use the Morphe E4 brush and I'm just going to really swirl it in and just start to apply. Also, I've been watching Line of Duty recently because I, I saw a few weeks ago that it was coming back for season five and I think I'd only watched like a couple of episodes in series four. So I really wanted to see what it was all about and um, really just like get into it. I love police dramas and I love crime dramas and everything like that. So I really wanted to get into it. And so when I saw it, I was like, right, okay, let's do this. So I started it about, hmm, when was it? Um, a week and a half ago, I think, I started it. And um, basically not stopped watching it since. And I'm currently starting series four now. And then I can watch series five. So I'll have two episodes to watch on Sunday. So I'm like super stoked about that but yeah if you haven't watched it you definitely should I, I definitely recommend it um it's definitely a good one um i love it so much like i'm hooked and i hope they carry on i really do hope they carry it on because it's just amazing. So now I'm going to take my Benefit Coralista blush and I'm going to take my M405 brush. This is a nice angled cheek brush so you can really get it. And I never really used to use this kind of brush um, for blush so I could never ever really see what this blush was like and I never really took to it. But now... Okay, so now we're going to do a bit of highlighter whilst this is still on my face. Um, so I'm going to take the Ofra Cosmetics Glazed Donut Highlighter. I said that wrong the other day. This is when they did the collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. It is one of the best highlighters I've ever used. It's so pigmented. And I'm going to take the M506 brush. I'm just going to start firstly on my nose. Then I'm going to take the bigger version of that brush basically, this is the M501 brush and I'm just going to, you don't even need any fix plus on this and I'm just going to apply that on the cheekbones. And just lightly above the eyebrow. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Just lightly. Just kind of going where it hits my face. Okay, so it has been didded. I did curl it this morning, so I'm kind of liking the nice soft waves at the moment 
I'm just like so lazy that I rarely curl my hair. I normally just wash it and then just leave it straight because it's just naturally straight and it's really annoying. Okay, so colour time. We're going to take the M431 brush. We're firstly going to take Escape on that brush and we're going to pack that underneath the eye. And then we're going to go on the other side, we're just going to take Playground and Cooler again and just blend it through. I'm just going to use the same brush that we used for the orange, so this is the M441 brush and just lightly, again pull it down, it's kind of as if you're blending it out but you're also adding the orange to the bottom of the lid and to the bottom of all the colour Okay, and now I'm going to take my favourite lip combo ever. So, Max Saw Lip Liner, Velvet Teddy and the Fenty Beauty Gloss. Finally, take the M two five zero one brush and drag the lipstick round. Apply the Fenty gloss. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a huge thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you never miss a post. Also comment down below and tell me what you think and if you would leave all my links in the description box below and I will see you next week.